Hello everyone, today I will show you how I went from this, to this, to this, in a span of 5 days. Let's go. So, a couple of months ago, I got really bored and decided I wanted to do my first solo game dev job. So, I joined the game jam. The jam in question being the major jam 4, with the theme of Cosmic and the limitation being... The player must cheat. Cool. Let's go. The concept. Okay, this is the game I'm gonna make. Okay, let me elaborate. My idea is to make a cyberpunk version of Crazy Taxi, where you fly around through a futuristic city and sell little baby aliens to cheat your way through the legal system. The core gameplay loop consists of gathering an egg in the center of the stage, getting the alien, finding the delivery point and then driving towards it and delivering the alien. Once you have them delivered, you get more time and then a new egg spawns at the center again and you need to see how many aliens you can sell before the timer runs out. As you can see, the game consists of a lot of moving components, like the creatures, the cockpit and of course the big city you're gonna be flying through. But the most important thing was the flying. Before the flying, I created a physics-based character controller, where you use both your mouse and keyboard to control the ship. I found this way of controlling very intuitive, yet kinda hard to master, which I really like. When I was finally happy with the flying controls, I immediately started working on the core gameplay loop. This meant that I had to code in various things such as randomized drop-off points, the spawn points, the timer, the score, etc. But it also meant that at the end of the day I would have a completely playable version of my game, without any art. So let's get to that. I started out by rigging and retopologizing the aliens inside of my box. Then I took them over to Maya to rig them and slightly animate them to give them a slight breathing. Then I unwrapped them, took them into Substance Painter and started painting the skin. And boom, there we are, the first alien, this one's called Snaptor. Then I repeated this process for a couple more times and uh... This one's called Grubbo, looks mean. This one's called Floor, looks kinda stinky. And the last one's easily my favorite, their name is Grubbo and they look so polite. They're actually based on a drawing that my partner made, so uh, here's the concept art for Grubbo. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the aliens turned out. Even though they were made in such a short period of time, I still think they add a whole lot of charm and personality to the game as a whole. But anyway, let's continue working on the game. Then out of nowhere... A musician messages me and asks if he can make a couple tracks for the game. And he has a demo reel and a... Uh... Okay, he's good. Then we started talking about possible inspirations for the music. And he eventually asked, how funky are we feeling? To which I responded, of course, I'm thinking pretty funky. And well, he blew it out of the park. I'm actually so thankful that Josh reached out to me and made the tracks for the game you can hear in the background of the video right now. So make sure to check the description for links to his stuff. Now let's get back to the art. Cities have buildings. A lot of buildings. Modeling all these various building parts would cost a lot of time, so using all these nodes I made a procedural sci-fi building generator. Meaning that I could generate an infinite amount of these building parts. But I still had to manually unwrap and texture them. So I picked the 7 best parts I could find from the generator and made sure to unwrap them and texture them nicely. When I had all these parts I could assemble them into different buildings inside of Unity. And just like that I can easily create a large variety of buildings and create a whole cityscape. And just like that the game became a whole lot more fun. With the buildings acting as obstacles and just adding a whole lot more atmosphere. But due to all the buildings looking fairly similar it was getting easier to get lost. So I created some logos and signs to place around the city. And this is the final result. With the new city in place, everything started coming together real nicely. But the delivery points were still just spheres. Let's just fix that. I wanted the drop-off points to look like sketchy vans. So I started by making a base model of a van and some hover wheels separately. Then I could later combine them in Unity, create different colors for the van, and then animate them all together. I made both an idle and a launch animation for when the alien is delivered. And here it is fully implemented. Even though the environment and delivery points are pretty much done, 
The cockpit still is a cube and the UI is still all over the place. So I started working on a mock-up, with UI that's a little more clear and an aesthetic that's more reminiscent of a dashboard than the cube we had before. And then I spent some time polishing up the model, unwrapping it, putting it into Substance Painter and then finally adding it back into the game in Unity. And wow, this is a major improvement over the cube we had before. By the time I had all of this done, I only had one day left in the jam, so I spent that day on polishing things up. I created a cool Aurora Borealis effect for the background, added some additional particle effects, implemented sound effects and of course the music, and everything was really tying together. One of the final things that I want to implement was a tutorial stage. The flying mechanics were pretty intricate with a lot of buttons, so I want to make sure anybody could play it. The tutorial stage is set up pretty straightforward, with the stage containing a lot of different platforms and those platforms having box colliders with triggers onto them. If those triggers are triggered, then the text will pop up explaining what to do next. And then finally I created a nice main menu to tie everything together. And after 5 days of hard grinding, the game is finally done. And there we have it, my first solo game dev project and I'm very happy with it. Even for a bit it was number 27 on the most top and trending games on itch. And I got around like 700 downloads and I'm very happy with it and it even reached the top of some subreddits. So yeah, the, the response to it was really surprising, got a lot of positive comments, saw some playthroughs and I'm just very happy and pleased that I finished my first solo game. So thank you everybody for playing. And even recording this devlog has been very rewarding since it's my first one and it's like one of the first times I do voiceover and talking to a microphone. And uh, so yeah, if you have any feedback or suggestions on uh, how to better my death looks and how to make better videos, please make sure to drop them in the comments below. Make sure to check uh, the game out on itch, all links in the description. And uh, make sure to check out Josh's stuff. Yeah, special thanks to Josh for making the music. And if you're possibly interested in a full version of this game, please be loud and proud in the comments and make sure to drop your ideas for a full Steam version. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and playing. Much love. See ya. Oh, here's some final gameplay, by the way.